Hi beautiful world, this is Tina from TinaX.com and today I'm taking you through Pluto through the 12 signs of the zodiac. So if you have your Pluto in Libra, then this is your video. Now let's understand the energy of Pluto. What does it signify in astrology? Now when Pluto was discovered, the world saw atomic energy for the first time. And believe me, this is the very energy of Pluto. It, it rules over death and regeneration. Tremendous transmutation, metamorphosis, it is our very primal urges, okay? It's our sexuality. It's, it's our fear. So fear can be incapacitating, but fear can also be our greatest motivator. Now, this is not something we can escape from. Fear is, is a part of the human experience. But what we do with that fear is, is ultimately uh, up to us. And that is what helps the soul growth. So Pluto is going to kill and destroy whatever is not serving your soul growth. Okay. Now, um, Bran thought about it. Bran from Game of Thrones. Can a man still be brave if he's afraid? He asked his dad. This is the only time that a man can be brave, replied his dad. I mean, we can totally understand Ned Stark saying this because fear can be your greatest enemy, but again, as I said, it can be your greatest strength. Pluto is icy cold, it's mysterious, it, it, it's the underworld. Pluto is the Roman god of the underworld, the unconscious. His Greek counterpart is Hades. So whenever we swim within our unconscious, that is Plutonic. Okay, and the conscious mind cannot comprehend this or put it into words or neatly label it okay because this is incomprehensible inexplicable okay now pluto and its lower vibrations can be insidious it it can be manipulative okay and it rules over all eight house issues as i said inheritance shared resources partners finances debts taxes uh, obsession coercion viruses atomic bombs terrorists scandals uh, shadow governments dictators uh, our intuition all this is Pluto's domain, okay? And every single time that you experience a Pluto transit, like one of your personal planets is getting triggered by Pluto, you feel uh, 500 shades of dark. It's no more 50 shades of gray. But um, honestly, Pluto excavates, excavates our primal fear. I mean, there's no uh, learning with Pluto. It's, it's pretty black and white, yes or no, left and right, okay? Now, uh, Pluto in Libra. Libra is the seventh sign of the zodiac. It, it rules the pelvis. Uh, it gives us support, balance. Okay, Pluto rules over two processes, elimination, reproduction. Okay, two very vital processes in the human body. Now, Libra is about relationships. It's about partnerships. It's about balance between spirit and matter. It's about justice. So having Pluto there, you can become a fanatic about justice. And, and you can be a fanatic about how a relation should be. Okay, you want all or nothing. Okay, you, you don't want to have the nicety of Libra. You know, you want to be in harmony. You want all or nothing. Okay, this is how Pluto in Libra is. Of course, depending on which house, according to that, the, the lessons will come forward. But for instance, it's your second house of income and resources. Pluto in Libra, Libra is your second house. Then there'll be tremendous transformation and you have to find balance. You see, Libra is the point, is a tipping of the scale. It's when matter and spirit are in perfect balance. Okay, now... Uh, so, so Libra, Pluto and Libra is, is stark about these things, okay? And you may experience a lot of relationships going kaput, 
okay like just just finishing out of nowhere so if it's your second house you know relationships and finances can be triggered like like you you may have uh, issues with your partner's finances or they're not making enough income Okay. There are very many ways that this archetype can play out and and wherever Pluto sits, it's very chironic. Okay, Chiron the wounded dealer. It's very chironic in the sense that it it, it tell, teaches you how your uh, poison is your medicine. Okay, so um, Pluto definitely in Libra, you've got to learn about letting go. Your idea of justice, it may not be be all and end all of it. Okay, somebody else may have an opinion. I know as a Libra, you are very hell bent on um, uh, people and, and their opinion, and you want to be good. But Pluto gives you a certain starkness or rawness. Okay, it's, it's that primal uh, feeling. Okay, that you have so reinventing yourself in the realm of your expectations from a relationship or your real relationship I mean this these are things that can liberate you and help you become that proverbial phoenix you know that resurrects Pluto rules Scorpio so here there is this this depth to this this placement Libra is not always about depth okay Libra likes to keep it neat Oh, clean uh, beautiful ruled by Venus after all so there's this compulsion to be clean but Pluto it can be kind of messy you know what happens when you have tremendous power you know and there's an explosion things get messy but power doesn't always necessarily have to it doesn't have to be bad or negative power is power ultimately how you use it is is your lesson and with libra you you don't want to misuse power because you know think about it it's 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 about justice you want justice more than most people you want fairness okay libra you want fairness and with pluto there you 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 will <coughs> you know understand that it's not always about expectations sometimes it's about letting go as herman has said that uh, some of us think that holding on makes us stronger but sometimes it is about letting go so pluto is here to tell you that it's about letting go and wherever pluto is every something is hidden so uh, if it's a second house as i said of income you have hidden income okay that you can make through maybe art or something so you know because it's venusian libra's venus in her airy manifestation intellectual so pluto will definitely take you through messy experiences okay and libra doesn't like it to get messy you know if you study uh, astrology you see from one sign to the other the energy is so a uh, different okay take libra and scorpio i mean libra is is so harmonious and scorpio is is about taking digging deep investigating no matter even if it's ugly okay because you know what is beauty what is um ugly these are things that uh, we'll grow and evolve with as we learn to work with Pluto and through the 500 shades of dark transits. Uh, it can take us to dark nights of our soul, of course, or the dark night of the soul. But then again, letting go. If you look at the death card, this is the card that um, in the tarot that uh, Pluto rules. Rule, uh, it's also associated to Scorpio. It's about letting go. You know, when something is not necessary, it's about tidying up. It's about saying those necessary goodbyes. Okay, for Libra, definitely. Because um, you don't want to change. But Pluto will teach you change. So I hope you like that video as much as I like making it for you. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, share. It means the world to me. And let me know what you think of these videos. Uh, down below, visit my website www.tinahills.com. Thank you.